Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video on how I got this color grade in Capture One and how you can achieve the same effect. Now, I really like doing some of these color grading tutorials, so if you guys like them as well, please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do more of them, because quite often I do get requests for them, and I've specifically had a few requests for this image here. So if you guys haven't seen already, I do have a behind the scenes video on this image on the day that it was shot, and it's probably one of my favorite uh, beauty images to date. I just love how everything came together on the day, and I just really love the shot overall. So I really wanted to do this tutorial and show you guys a little bit more behind the scenes on how I color graded it. So for those of you who don't have Capture One yet, I am going to leave some links in the description box below and they are going to be affiliate links. So if you guys do sign up for Capture One at any point using those links below, uh, I may earn a small commission from those links, but it is at no extra cost to you. But if you guys are interested in signing up for Capture One and purchasing the program, I am going to leave some links in the description box below. It is an incredible program and I have been using it for over six months now for a lot of my color grade and general workflow for my beauty photography. You can also sign up for a 30 day free trial as well. So if you guys are looking at testing it out, I definitely recommend doing so. If you feel like you're using Lightroom or Photoshop and you're not quite getting everything that you want out of those programs. On with the tutorial, we're going to look at how I color graded this image and get straight into it. Okay, so now we're back to the original image. Now we haven't done any dodging and burning or any skin retouching at all here. This is just going to be a color grading tutorial. If you guys would like more full tutorials with dodging and burning as well, just let me know in the comments as well because it's always hard to know what people want to see. But to start off I want to talk a little bit about this color grade and why I wanted to achieve the colors that I did with it and how we're going to do that. I really wanted to have kind of like a cool and warm contrast with these images. I wanted the skin tone to have a little bit of warmth to complement the makeup but I also wanted sort of like a cool tone in the shadows as well and to kind of tint the background here which was a gray on the day that was actually the background that we were using. I wanted to kind of tint it a different color and kind of give it a little bit more of a mood. I was also inspired by a lot of older uh, Vogue editorials and beauty editorials that I'd seen throughout those magazines over the years and I really wanted to achieve that kind of high-end look with this color grade too. So the first thing I did to achieve this was actually going into the exposure tab here and the only adjustment we're really going to make here is just bringing down the whites a little bit because I felt like it was just a little bit not blown out but it was quite washed out in some areas so I'm just going to move that down to around minus 13 just to bring down the brightness a little bit. I also made an adjustment on the clarity as I usually do just to pick up the texture on the skin tone a little bit more even though we're not really going to go into skin tone and skin editing specifics in this video but just so you guys know I usually do make that adjustment. And then moving into the full color grade now so usually to color grade in Capture One I go up to the color tab up here and then I'll move down to these tabs here where we've got skin tone, just above and we've also got the three-way color balance so I really love using these tools to color grade I find that they're very powerful and I don't have to do too much to the image so first off we're going to get our base color grade so I want to start with these adjustment circles just down here so first we're going to adjust the shadows now how I adjusted the shadows here as I said before I wanted a really cool tone in the shadows so what we're going to do is bring this circle and click and drag it and we're going to move it right over to the kind of blues and cyan side here. And then we're going to move on to the mid-tone. So you can see already that's really given that cool tone in the darker shadows. And moving on to the mid-tones, I'm going to move this particular circle over to the warmer side. Because as I said, I really wanted to have that little bit more warmth in the skin tone. And I wanted that to complement the makeup that Charlotte was wearing on the day. So I feel like that's kind of giving the contrast already of the cool and then the warm in the mid-tones. And also for the highlight adjustments, I did move this over to the warmer side as well to complement the mid-tones. So we're just going to move that a little bit over this way towards the yellows and oranges. Okay, and that is our base color grade. So I'll give you guys a quick before and after so far. So you can see already how much of a difference that makes with that color grade. It really gives it that little bit more of a high-end feel, especially with the cool tone in the shadows and the warmness on the skin tone. So we are gonna make a couple of quick adjustments. And where we're going to make those adjustments is just under the skin tone tab here. Now this is, like I've said before in several videos, one of my favorite tools in Capture One. I love using this tool. And making sure the eyedropper tool is selected, we're actually just going to select part of the skin tone here, um, probably just on the darker mid-tone side over this way. 
just so we get the right selection of skin tone. And you can see that selected the skin tone just over here. We're just gonna move the hue first off over to the right. And that's actually gonna give it more of a yellow tinge. If you move it to the left, it's gonna give you more of a pinkish kind of tinge. So I'm gonna move that just a little bit over to the right. Then I'm gonna bring down the saturation a little bit because it is a little bit too saturated on the skin tone for my liking at the moment. So just to dull that a little bit, we're just gonna bring this down a little bit to about there. And then the lightness as well, we're gonna bring down on the skin tone just to get a little bit more depth back in these brighter areas. We're just gonna move that down just a little bit to around minus two. And that is how I created this color grade in Capture One. So it's an extremely short tutorial for you today, guys. But that's the really great thing about this program is I never find that I have to spend too much time in it. Uh, I find it's very easy to color grade my images and to find something that really works. The color grading capabilities in this program are really out of this world. And I find quality wise, it just really beats out a lot of other programs out there for that. Let me show you guys the difference now of how much that color grade can make such a difference in the mood of an image. So that is the before and that is the after. And I'll show you guys a full before and after now. So this is the before and this is the after. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this quick tutorial today on how I got this color grade in Capture One. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more tutorials in Capture One, please let me know in the comments section below. It is hard to know how many people out there actually have Capture One and are using that in their workflow. So it's hard to know how many people do require tutorials on it, but I've been really loving it uh, as a program overall for the last six months or so. I'm more than happy to do more tutorials in Capture One as I really find that it's part of my own workflow now. However, if you guys would prefer me to do more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials as well please let me know too in the comment section below because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that do use Lightroom primarily and I just want to say that you can get a similar effect in Lightroom uh, with this color grade as well and Photoshop for that matter it would just be using a few different tools and a few different techniques that would be slightly different in those programs. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys are interested in joining the Beauty Retouching for Beginners e-course, enrollments for that end on the 4th of June. So there's only three days left to enroll. So make sure you do. The price will be going up for the next session that I do in another three months or so. Uh, so make sure if you want to get in for this session, get in quick because there's only a couple more days left to enroll. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.